Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many .NET developers have encountered. Our viewer wonders why so many simple types in the .NET framework, like system drawing, dot point, and rectangle, are not marked as serializable. This can be quite an inconvenience, especially when trying to use them with binary formatter. Let's dive into this intriguing topic and uncover the reasons behind this design choice. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's explore why many simple types in the .NET framework, like system drawing dot point and rectangle, are not marked as serializable. These types consist of primitive data types, which seem like they should be easily serializable. However, they lack the system serializable attribute. The primary reason for this design choice is to maintain performance and avoid unnecessary overhead. Serialization can introduce complexity. Additionally, some types are designed for specific use cases, such as graphics, where serialization may not be relevant or necessary. If you need to serialize these types, consider creating your own serializable wrapper or using alternative serialization methods. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Many simple types in the .NET framework aren't marked as serializable due to efficiency concerns. When a field is tagged as serializable, the compiler has to map each field to a table of aliases. If all fields were marked, it would require additional mapping for every object that uses them which can be costly in terms of memory and processing power. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Many simple types in the .NET framework aren't marked as serializable because the framework is designed to provide basic tools rather than complete solutions. It's about usefulness and actual use. You can create your own serialization mechanisms or use existing libraries, both free and paid, to achieve the functionality you need. While some may think it's just passing the buck, there are deeper reasons. The key takeaway is to consider where to go from here. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.